What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Dying Light. Apparently when I log back in, I think it brought me to the place that I'm supposed to be for the next storyline mission. It just saved me like the longest walk ever. It's like something divine came down and commanded the game to make my life easier. So I guess we had to go to a mansion. The Brotherhood of the Mother, or whatever the hell they're called. I'm not really even sure. The Cult of the Mother wanted us to figure out what happened to like an ethnographer or something like that. It was... An odd request, but I guess it should be okay. Ooh, we found $18 inside that purse, though. Who leaves their purse out on the front step? Also, there's books laying around every... Ooh, these look official right here. These look like the kind of books that they don't let you check out at the library. You can only reference them. That rock is also levitating. Clearly, dark and evil science is taking place here. I think your dock broke, dude. I think it's not working so good no more. Alright, so we gotta go inside this place. Let's go ahead and take, like, a cursory look at everything that's around here and see if there's anything we can work out. Unfortunately, the door is closed. I don't understand why we can't just, like, bust a window real fast. Just like, ah, like, break that bastard. We got more hardware than we could ever possibly need. Grenades, explosives, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it actually looks like you can't climb up the side of the building. Cool little fountain, though. That's pretty sweet. I like old stuff like that. Kind of interesting. Ain't going in that way, either. That's one of those security doors they have at, like, elementary schools. Ain't nobody getting in that bastard. I suppose there's like a cleverly crafted hole in the ceiling or anything like that. My guess is we gotta go down underneath and under and there's gonna be some kind of hive or something down there. Had to work our way through to get back to the inside of the house. Maybe the floor's collapsed or something like that. That would actually explain a lot here considering there's stuff all over the place and it looks like the place has been ransacked. Yeah. I bet that's what it is. Go ahead and jump down from here. I don't know if I have my grapple equipped right now, but I could definitely use it. Let's throw that out to right there to give ourselves a nice, safe descent. Got a couple of cave paintings up in here, and aha. Uh -huh. I knew we would find something if we just kept looking. If we only Is there anything down there? Like in a boat or anything? Like It looks like... This is definitely meant to be climbed, I think. Apparently, I failed my challenge. I was too I was too heavily focused on the job at hand, though. Doesn't look like there's anything inside the boat. Looks like it's mostly flooded. It's not doing such a great job of being a boat, unfortunately. Let's climb back up, and we'll check out this cave and see what's inside for us to explore. I bet it'll be pretty sweet. Go over to there, and that is perfect. Exactly what I could have asked for. I wonder if this lady's actually going to turn out to be the mother. Also, what kind of attrition we're going to be up against inside of here. There is a worrying lack of illumination. And normally that seems to forebode pain, me getting smacked in the face, bad things like that happening. Find Attila inside the mansion. And everybody's making these bottle candles over here. They're popular out here. Seems reasonably well supplied. Let's lockpick this real fast. It's probably not that side then. I was going to say, we've hit just about everything over there. Hit just about everything over there. I've been eating up entirely too much time. I've been playing a ton of The Division right now, and I've been playing, like, a lot of Clash Royale. You know what Clash Royale is. It's kind of like a competitive phone card game, I guess, from the creators of Clash of Clans. Or Clash Royale. Did I say Crash Royale? I don't know why I keep... Why is there a chair up there? It looks like it's an altar or something like that. That looks a little sketchy. I'm going to head back off to this side, though, first. That's not going anywhere. Let's disregard the fact that my thumb just dematerialized through the handle of the door. As terrifying as that is... I think we got things to get done. It looks like that's probably going to be barred from the inside when we loop around this way. Our knuckles are all kinds of cracked up. Good God. You've been punching fools. Heartily. The origins of the Children of the Sun. A ceremonial mask. Kill the radio real fast. And we'll try and figure out what it is. Doesn't look like there's much in here that we want to be alarmed about, but we did find the basement stairs, which is fantastic. 
I'm gonna leave the doors locked for right now, just in case something goes, like, horribly wrong here. Okay, another note about the origin of the Children of the Sun. No zombies in the refrigerator, so that's a good thing, right? Can't have zombies in the fridge. Obviously, that's unsanitary. I didn't even know you could search those little trashes right there. It's pretty amazing, actually. I had no idea. What is this? It's a pretty large house, all things considered. The function of the mother. Let's see anything else in here. Let me take a look at these inventory items and see what those have got going on, because I think these might be important to, like, the background of what we have going on. I think we should have it back inside of here. There we go. It's actually one of the first ones. The ancestors of the sub-society that eventually will be known as the Children of the Sun came to this land shortly after the settling of Haran, arriving in the early to mid-13th century. There is no linguistic proof of their existence in this territory due to lacking a written alphabet and subsequently an almost total language assimilation prior to this period, which makes pinpointing the exact roots of their tribe in time problematic. So here we have a tiny community, perhaps as small as a single tribe, which occupied these lands near modern-day Haran. Originally a nomadic tribe of hunter-gatherers, it is my theory that they discovered land so fertile that it made more sense for them to remain and plant crops. Their migratory patterns, which may have existed for centuries prior to the discovery of the region, came to an abrupt end as their society began to redefine itself. From generation to generation, the spiritual guide of the Children of the Sun was the Mother. It's a title passed down from mother to daughter in a single bloodline. From what I was able to determine, during their hunter-gatherer era, the mother was some sort of shaman. By self-inducing a trance of sorts, she was able to direct the tribe to new hunting grounds. Every family in the tribe willingly relocated to the places dictated by the mother's visions. I'm not sure if the tribe had a chief or a headman, but it may not have mattered as the mother was surely the leader, and the one who steered their development in what she believed to be the right direction. Yeah, I do think that kind of stuff is important. Sounds like we might have invaders soon, so... Let's move along. Definitely not gonna open that. That's a terrible play. Let's not open the door, because dealing with bad guys inside these confines would be absolutely about as troublesome as I want this to get. We've also got an upstairs floor. Oh, there we go over here. Function of the mother, too. We'll check that in just a moment. That's a big ass light switch button right there. If you can't find the light switch, that's the one that'll help you get it. Just ba boom! Go ahead and stay frosty, considering we have no idea how this is going to play out. Couple little things over here. But all in all, it looks reasonably safe. I'm going to go room by room on the top floor, because it seems like approaching this in like a more formulaic sense is probably the best way to do it. Man, wash your sheets, though. Those sheets are hella gnarly. Throw those things in the washer. I don't know. Take them down to the river or something. It's not like they can get much worse. Oh, wow. She got masks all over the place. She got that same picture, too. Everybody got the exact same pictures on their walls. Everybody married the exact same dude. That or they all know the guy that got married. And they like him enough to put pictures up of him, too. I don't have pictures of anybody in my house. I don't know. Pictures don't really do anything for me. There's something orange in the next room that it's flagging for me. We'll grab that in just a minute. I don't see anything that looks important in here. One thing at a time, Nerd Castle. Clear out the area, turn on the power. Oh, they want me to turn this into a safe house then. The Cult of the Sun, Sky, and Wind, number two. We missed number one, so it's got to be around somewhere. The Haran Police Department. Apparently they got a national police force. Unless Haran is like a city-state or something. You come to kill me? Fine. Go ahead. Have you come to kill me? Fine. Go ahead. My name's Kyle Crane. The mother's worried about you, Attila. She sent me to check on you. Make sure you're okay. I am most certainly not okay. 
You can tell her that there will be no book. I've hit a wall. I'm just a dying old man, not Indiana Jones. Dying? Did, did you ask the mother for help? She doesn't have the cure for cancer, I'm afraid. My days of field work are over. The problem is, and I'll quote Hamlet here, everything is fucked up. Come, sit. Have a drink with me, Mr. Crane. Listen, if it's the field work that's stopping you, just... I can go out and get whatever you need. I don't know what you're researching, but the mother really wants it finished. Hmm. You'll bring me anything I need, you say? Yeah, sure. Just make a list. It would certainly help if my electricity were restored. If I'm going to do this, I'll be looking at some very long nights. Well... I can take care of the power, but you're on your own for coffee. Considering how much coffee I carry around with me, I actually think I could probably supply that, too. Pretty good at this stuff. We've been doing this adventuring thing for quite some time. The God of the Sun. The Cult of the Sun, Sky, and Wind 1. Looks like there's something down... ...here that I missed out on. Ah, another note, the function of the mother number three. So in order to fix the cables... Find our way out of the house here, which... I suppose I have a flashlight for that reason, don't I? Appears to be a little bit dangerous in here. I'm not sure that I actually want to evac this location until morning arrives. Just because those big dudes can be really, really problematic. Like, they're not that bad. Like, you can work your way through them. But they're killers. They will still catch you slipping if you let them. So we're headed off to fix cables in this direction. Sorry, I was panning. Oh, actually, the cables are right down there in the bottom. Okay. Let's have a look here. Is there anything inside of here? That all looks perfectly fine and dandy. I don't think there's anything wrong with the Jenny. Door's a little rickety. Building's a little sketch, but it'll work for right now. Said so there was something inside of here, so I wanted to take a look real fast. Oh, never mind. It was on the opposite end. Ah, there it is. So we've got a nail bludgeon, floor planks. Oh, it just looks like a bunch of busted wood then. A brick. I don't know what I need the brick for. What's over there? Ah. Does he have a bicycle stuck in the side of his head? What the hell is in the side of that guy's head? Is that a missile? What is that? He's got something stuck in the side of him. Yeah, this has got a, like a torpedo or some kind of harpoon or something jabbed into the side of his head. I don't know if we got enemies around here. But I'm... Oh, shit. Yeah, it looks like we do have friends around here. I'm more than willing to expend a couple of rounds of lovely Brucka in order to get him up and out of my way. We do need that helmet gone, though. I don't even know if it's going to be possible from right here. There we go. Perfect. It's always simple getting rid of them once you get rid of their lid. That's pretty much all that there is to it. Oh, Christ. I didn't know you guys were in here. Your skeletons didn't show through the walls. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, fine then. I'll chop your heads off too if you really want to die. I mean, if you want to go with the big guy, who am I to deny your actualization, you know? It's all simple enough to me. Just one thing at a time. So what in the hell was lodged in that big guy? It looks like, actually, whatever it was that was lodged inside of him, it despawned. So that's interesting enough. However, it looks like our power cable... Yeah, I didn't really want to do that. That was a mistake. 
That was a big mistake. Luckily, we seem to be in some kind of quasi-safe zone. Where there's only, like, designated shit running around. So how do I fix this thing? I don't know a whole lot about electricity. Maybe there's a break in the cable elsewhere, and I just gotta follow it around. Came out of the window right there. We got a brick on that side. Where did it go after going up there? Okay, we got the fuse box right there. I doubt that's gonna be that. Ah, uh, Christ. Who puts a random hole in the middle of every scaffolding in this country, man? Who is this guy? Who's this guy that we can find him and we can punish him? Just make his life difficult. Like, why do you enjoy me falling off of stuff so much? Doubt that I really need too much of this, but ah, eh, whatever. Nothing inside the cistern. Ah, there's our cable problem. Duct tape that fixes everything. Duct tape, cover it with bling. Duct tape. Anyway, shouldn't we use like electrical tape though, or does duct tape work just as well? I don't know. I just always figure for electrical stuff you should use electrical tape. Apparently, we survived the night unnoticed. Whether or not that does anything awesome for us, it looks like it gives us a little bit of something, something, but not a lot. Not an overcropping, I guess. Now that that's good, in order to turn the power back on, my assumption is that maybe this is our fuse box up here. That's not our fuse box, actually. Or did that fix the power? Is that all he needed? The generator and everything else appears to be running. Either way, we sorted our way through it, so it's not that difficult of a problem to solve. It's a pretty nice little chunk of property right here. Can't say I'm not jealous. This would be a really nice place to live. I mean, you kind of hope nobody ever comes around and wants to axe murder you because you have no neighbors or anything. But other than that, just keep lots of guns in your house or something. I don't know. Sleep with one eye open and a pistol under the pillow. Obviously, that's what sane people do. Oh. There's multiple cable breaks? Good God. What else could go wrong with this thing? Apparently been chewing on him. Cool, cool. Whatever. So there could be multiple breaks. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to follow this piece of shit until we find every last little bit and piece. Not going to lie, it looks a little kinked right there. Looks a little kinked. I think for the sake of keeping the gameplay flowing, though, we can ignore that one. Really just like a textural thing. Cable looks fine right there. Looks a little odd right there, but I don't think that's like an official break in the line. Check the top part just to make sure our little red friend... It's holding together. It looks like... I think they ran it through the floor right there. I'm not really sure. Hey, there's another breakage. I knew we'd find it eventually. It's just a matter of, like, applying yourself. And also not skipping the... Also not skipping the injective entirely, thinking there was only one break. That would be the other part of being a successful adventurer. Screwing a couple more fuses, of which we never seem to have a short supply. Those are big-ass fuses, too. Those are like Narnar fuses. I don't actually know where you would buy a fuse that big. Like, that's an enormous fuse. Christ, just don't fall. What a weird place to put a switch. I think you'd, like, put it on a wall down there or something like that. It just seems to me... Like an odd place to throw a switch. Yeah, do a little slide in the mud right afterwards. Absolutely. Let's add... A huge laundry list to an already growing and costly adventure. Messing up my pants, getting them all muddy, scuffing up the knee pads, which obviously I had them studded with gold before I went into this adventure because I wanted them to be looking fly. And let's see what good old Tilsey has to say. 
A Tilzy, where you at, buddy? You don't have to use Candlelis anymore. What? How many switches you gotta hit? Good God, man. What is this, like the mother of all warehouse restorals? Jesus. I'm lost. I can't find my way out. This place is terrifying. I usually just flick like one switch and you're good to go. Oh, the Jenny. Okay. Coolsies. Let's go see what a Tilsies has to say. Hopefully he has a radio so I don't have to come back here every single time I want to talk to him. Although I'm thinking we're in the home stretch right now. Now that I'm in a safe area, I can't use the little grappling hook thing either. That would actually explain a lot of why the little zombie mobs or whatever were pre-designed over there. Makes sense. This is a brick building, man. You don't see brick buildings too often anymore, at least not in the United States. And not have it too frequently. I guess it's not where I live. I guess I gotta, like, refine that even further. Everybody got beanbag chairs, though. Get your electricity back, Attila. Now what? Now we can get to work, Mr. Crane. I'm researching traces of the prophecy about the god of the sun in the relics of local culture. It seems like a matter of life and death to the mother, and I'm in no position to ask why. So, now we have three ancient monoliths to investigate. We're looking for specific features, so you'll need to see them in person and describe each one to me. Now that I have the power back on, we can stay in touch while you're out there. But please hurry, Mr. Crane. I won't live forever. Considering the fact that you're up and running right now, I sincerely doubt that you'll be dead in like eight seconds either, so let's stop being so melodramatic, man. I'm gonna need you to push through. I always feel like it's nighttime in this place because they got all the windows boarded up and whatever. Like, I mean, consistently feels like nighttime. So we got three things we got to investigate here. How far out are they? Not that far, but I think these are actually the rocks that we already saw at other places. I think a northward might be the one to hit first. I'm not totally sure if we're going to be able to pull together the vehicle to get this all done. Where's my car at? Where did I even leave it? Oh, that's way the shit over there. I left it over by the bridge. Okay. That's fine. That just means we got to cut this way. Like, I think the thing that we need is actually on top of that rock right there, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it's going to be that mural that we already saw earlier. Let's go in head first real fast, and I'll work my way on over there. Hopefully before too long we'll be able to get close enough. This game, actually, water in this game has always been pretty peaceful. In general, if you're in the water, you don't have to worry about much, which is fantastic. Turn on the jets real quick. Summon my internal powers of whatever the hell that name of that guy is with the weird-looking head. Michael Phelps. There we go. And if I can properly invoke his spirit, maybe we swim over here just a little bit faster rather than keeping the pace that we're currently keeping. Once I get close enough, I'm just going to grappling hook over there anyway, so it's not really going to matter all that much. I was really disappointed by that lighthouse. I thought that lighthouse was going to have something good in it, and then I dicked around over there for like 5-10 minutes and just couldn't find anything. Kind of a weird situation for me. Normally I expect treasure when I go to stuff like that. Almost there. I can't swim in the ocean. That shit's hella scary. The ocean's terrifying and dark and filled with things that really, really, really enjoy human flesh. Okay, maybe not enjoy us, but more like enjoy tasting us. My grappling hook isn't working right now. Can you not use it from inside the water? Damn it. See, there we go. That's what I wanted. I have no idea where this is all going to lead to. Let's see, I didn't know if that was a grabby spot or not, but I figured I'd give it a go. Better knock that shit off with a quickness. 
trying to look at my mural right now, my rock feety, and you're ruining my life. I see a monolith, Attila. Describe it, please. There's a painting, looks old. It's got ants moving toward a circle, and one inside the circle has a red head. No, 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 Mr. Crane. Those are not ants. They're meant to represent believers praying to the sun. Whatever. If you say so. The one on the inside is wearing a special ritual mask, if I guess correctly. All right, that is helpful. Please move on. Kyle has got to be like the most enthusiastic hero ever. Christ, I hate John. Oh, that was shallow water right there, too. Damn. Now we get to hang out and dodge zombies in a wheelchair. Well, I'm going to make my way to the next monolith because I don't want to bore you with the travel time. I will see you all in future episodes of Dying Light. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here. Bye, everybody.